Can the science that wins races and championships reduce cost and downtime in industrial compressors and engines? Hi, I'm Lake Speed Jr. Tribologist here at Total Seal Piston Rings, and I can tell you that the science of tribology that we used at Joe Gibbs Racing to win races and championships does reduce cost and downtime in any other engine or compressor. Let's show you how to make it work. When I work for Joe Gibbs Racing, we work closely with Total Seal. That was way before I ever even came to work here. We were applying the science of tribology to our race engines to increase durability and maximize engine efficiency. We've been having flat tappet camshaft problems and began working with a company called Lubrizol that made oil and fuel additives. We developed special oils to solve those problems. Once we solved those problems, we were like, hey, what else can we do? The next thing we found is that we could reduce friction and wear in our engines. Now, friction and wear are two independent phenomenon. We've covered that in a previous video. We'll leave a link for that in the description box below. But we knew that we could impact both friction and wear based on what we had seen with the flat tappet camshaft issues and lubrication. So we began working with Total Seal and Lubrizol to develop a package where we could use thinner rings that would not only increase horsepower, i.e. efficiency, but also reduce wear. We applied different coatings and things like that, and the results were spectacular. Before Joe Gibbs Racing began to apply the science of tribology to those engines, Joe Gibbs Racing had won zero championships in about 16 races. After that, Joe Gibbs Racing won eight championships in over 84 races. It made a gigantic difference, and it will make a gigantic difference for you as well. The reason for that is really simple. The piston ring rubbing against the cylinder wall is the number one source of friction and wear in any engine or compressor. That's been proven by numerous studies. This one, for example, is from the Department of Energy, and it shows the number one source of loss in that engine is the piston ring rubbing against the cylinder wall. So by increasing the efficiency of our engines at Joe Gibbs Racing, we were able to improve the horsepower and durability of those engines. Greater efficiency and more uptime, and we did it by changing three key areas. We changed the ring seal by changing the rings itself we also changed the surface texture, and then we optimized the lubricant for it. Bringing all three together made a massive difference in performance and durability. So let's start with the ring seal. There are three primary leak paths past the piston ring. Because the thing about it, if you don't have piston rings in your piston, you don't have good ring seal, which means you're not gonna have good intake stroke vacuum, you're not gonna have good compression, you're gonna have high blow-by, which leads to shorter oil life. So when you improve ring seal, you actually improve three things. You increase pumping efficiency, you reduce blow-by, which means more power, and it also increases oil life because blow-by is the number one enemy of your oil. When you can reduce blow-by, you extend oil life. Those three primary leak paths are gonna be the end gap, which is in the piston ring for thermal expansion. You also have a leak path in the face of the ring, as well as the flanks of the ring. We can improve all three through patented technologies here at Total Seal. The number one way to do it is by going to a gapless ring. A gapless ring greatly increases the efficiency on that intake stroke, as well as seals better on the compression stroke. And by applying our diamond finishing technology, by improving the surface finish and flatness of the rings, it can seal better against the flanks. We also have different technologies that allow for a better face seal, that ring face to the cylinder wall, we can increase that. Because rings don't seal 
by tension alone. It utilizes the combustion pressure to actually force the rings out against the cylinder wall. And by adding gas ports to the piston rings, we can actually do like ring jujitsu. We can better utilize that combustion pressure to force the ring against the cylinder wall when we need it, which means we can take the tension out of the ring all the other time when it isn't needed. Extra ring tension is just extra drag, which increases wear and reduces efficiency. So by going to a lower tension ring set, we can actually increase both durability, less wear, and efficiency, more power, because we're only utilizing the tension when we need it. So we can make that ring package and engine more efficient just by optimizing the tension, utilizing these targeted technologies that can greatly increase ring seal. And we can see that in this data, that just by going to a gas ported ring versus a conventional ring, it's a giant difference in efficiency. So much less blow by. Again, blow by is wasted power and shortened oil life. Gas porting changes that quickly and dramatically. Now you could gas port a piston, but the problem with that is gas ported pistons put all that targeted load on the same part of the cylinder every single cycle, which means the cylinders wear out faster. By gas porting the ring, because rings rotate, it evenly wears the cylinder, so it doesn't wear the cylinder out quickly. Again, longer life and increased efficiency, that's the goal of what we're trying to do here by taking these same technologies that have won races and won championships and applying them to other engines and compressors, this is the path that will yield those results. And this isn't just for gasoline engines or air compressors. This also works in diesel engines. Just by going to a gapless second ring in a diesel can cut the blow-by in half. That's right, half. And when that blow-by goes down, efficiency goes up and oil life goes up. So it's very easy to make big gains in engine durability, oil life, and engine efficiency just by making a few simple changes to your piston ring design. But like I said earlier, the piston ring isn't alone in all of this. You need to change how the cylinders are honed. The old school way of honing will work the new way of honing works better. We can reduce oil consumption. We can increase ring seal. Again, increasing oil life. Less oil changes means less downtime and less money for oil. We can do that by optimizing the surface texture of the cylinder to hold the right amount of oil on the cylinder. And that also allows us to utilize harder, lower friction PVD coatings on the ring face. So friction can go down by changing the ring face coating, but also that harder coating can make the ring last longer. Back to the NASCAR example. 20 years ago in NASCAR, an 043, 043, three millimeter ring set was state of the art, but it lasted one race, 500 miles. Today, we're using a 0.5 millimeter, 0.6 millimeter, two millimeter ring set. So that's almost half the thickness in the ring set compared to 20 years ago. But that same engine now can run three or four races. It did that by going from old school ductile iron materials with a molly face coating that's softer around 800 Bickers hardness to now we're utilizing steel rings, either stainless steel or tool steel. They can be much thinner and more flexible, but we're also utilizing PVD coatings on the ring face that are now 2400 Vickers hardness. So we've tripled the hardness of the ring, which has allowed that ring to live longer. Longer living rings mean longer living engines, but we haven't compromised ring seal in doing so because we've applied the correct surface finish that holds the correct amount of oil for those rings so they have both good seal and durability. Now the last part of this is bringing in the oil. When you bring in the correct oil chemistry to get it broken in properly, and we've done that in previous videos, we'll leave a link in the description box below for that, 
With the proper braking oil chemistry, we can make sure that engine or compressor breaks in quickly, gets all that debris out of the engine, which again, turns into a longer engine life, less downtime, greater durability. Then you can go to your regular lubricant and then you can begin to do oil analysis and find out what's that proper oil change interval now that you've reduced the amount of blow by. So these are the same things that we did at Joe Gibbs Racing to win races and win championships and you can do it for your engines and compressors to increase efficiency, reduce downtime, and cost. If you have questions, we have answers, probably right here on this channel in our archives or at TotalSeal.com where we have all kinds of tech resources and information.